the kingdom of the Jager had a wise and kind king. People were happy, but the king himself was sad and worried. A devilish snake had entered his son's body. Neither medicine nor magic worked to cure his son. When the prince grew up, he thought, It is because of me that my father worried. And one day, he left the palace. Wandering, he came to another kingdom. He found a desolate temple and started living there. He begged for food. The king of that kingdom was cruel. But he had a kind and beautiful daughter. The king was unhappy with his daughter. That girl was always ridiculing her father's hard work. The king thought, she is always talking to me low of my hard work. I must marry her to a beggar. Then she will know what hard work is. So, when the beggar prince came to beg for food in the palace, the cruel king forced him to marry his daughter. The prince and his new bride started for the desolate temple. On their way, they stopped to take rest. The princess went around in search of food, while her husband went to sleep. When the princess came back, she was shocked to see a snake sitting on her husband's mouth. On a mount nearby sat another snake. They were talking among themselves. Why do not you leave the body of the prince? He is so kind and gentle, said the snake sitting on the mound. You two are evil. You attack passers-by. You should not be telling me what to do replied the snake sitting on the mouth of the prince. The princess killed both the snakes with all her courage. When her husband woke up, she told him about the two snakes. The prince was happy. Then he told her who he really was. They set off to the prince's palace. The king was delighted to see his son. When the king learned that the devilish snake was killed, his joy knew no bounds. The prince and the princess lived happily for a long time. After a few years, the kingdom celebrated the day on which the royal couple gave birth to twins of one boy and one girl. <laughs>